Everybody, it is JV and Daisy. We're back again. It's another Sunday. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really tired. I got an energy drink, but uh, I don't know if it's gonna keep me awake. I'm super tired today. <laughs> Been really busy lately, super busy. Work. And just all kinds of other stuff. But today we're going to dive into Genesis 39. And of course, that was Jax Lynx singing the intro. Or Jax Lynx. Oh my goodness. That was Jax Vibes <laughs> singing the intro. And her link will be in the description. I'm going to call her Jax Lynx from now on. Jax Lynx. <laughs> Um, along with Daisy's and Eric B, will all be in the description below. 
Go check them all out. Um, but obviously, before we read, uh, we need to pray. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for giving us your word. Please help give me and Daisy uh, discernment and understanding as we read through your word. Um, help us to say the things you want us to say. Help us teach things you want us to teach. And uh, just uh, help us as we read through your word. Thank you for all the blessings you give us. Um, and thank you for everybody who watches this. Um, and especially thank you for sending your son to die on the cross for us. In Jesus' name I ask it. Amen. 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 And you can Yay. hear Daisy today. Yay. <laughs> All right. So I'll read the first eight, and then you guys know how this works. I read the first eight, and then Daisy will read the first eight, and then so on and so on till we finish. So, all right. Genesis 39, verse 1. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt. And Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him of the hands of the Ish Ishmaelites, which had brought him down thither. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was pros a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, in the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. And Joseph found grace in his sight and he served him. And he made him overseer over his house and all that he had he put into his hand. And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he knew not aught he had save the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person and well favored. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph, and she said, Lie with me. But he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master... <laughs> what if not that is with me in his house and he hath committed all that he hath to my hand all right your turn one through eight siya saya at ang asawa ng potipar Nung ay dinala si Josiah sa Egypto at binilin siya ni Potiphar sa mga esmareta na nagdadala sa kanya sa kanya roon. Si Potiphar ay pinuno ng parong na kapitan ng bantay ng isang taga Egypto. Ang Panginoon ay naging kasama ni Josiah at siya ay naging lalaki Mamlad siya ay nasa buhay ng kanyang among taga -Hilipto. Nakita ng kanyang amo na ang Panginoon ay kasama niya at ang lahat ng ginawa niya siya ay mamlad sa kanyang ama. Kahit nakatag nakatagpo siya siya ng biyaya sa paningin niya ay ginagawa niya ang kanyang katulog. Ang ipinamahalaga niya si Jose. 
Ang buhay niya at ang lahat niyang pag-aaral ay inilagay sa kanyang pangangasiwa. Mula noong panahon na nasiyose ay pamalang sa kanyang bahay, bahay at sila lahat ang kanyang pag-aaral. Pinagpala ang Panginoon ng buhay at taga Egypto. Ang pagpapala ng Panginoon ay dumating sa lahat ng kanyang pag-aaral sa buhay at sa pangal. Kaya't ipinagmalaga niya ang lahat niya ay pag-aaral sa kamay ni Jesus. At hindi siya naki- nakialam sa mga anumang bagay na maliban at tinapay sa kanyang pinakain. Si Jose ay matipunong lalaki, siglang lalaki. Pagkatapos ang mga bagay na ito, tinatagon ni Jose sa asawa sa kanyang Panginoon at sinabi, sipagin, sipagin mo ako. Subalit so, siya ay Tumanggi at sinabi niya sa asawa ng kanyang Panginoon, Tignan mo ang aking Panginoon ay hindi nakikialam sa aking tungkulin at anumang bagay na nasabi sa bahay at lahat ng kanyang pag-aaral ay pinapahalagan sa aking kami. All right. So in the first eight verses, pretty much we find out Joseph was a good person and he worked hard and everything he did, he did for the Lord. And uh, we can find a similar instance in the New Testament in Colossians chapter three, verses 23 and 24, where it says, and whatsoever ye do, do it heartily. As to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. So, pretty much, when you're working, you know, when you go to your job, Don't work as that you're working for man to please man. Work that you're trying to please the Lord. And if you work that you're trying to please the Lord, your rewards will be great, as Joseph's were. He worked for the Lord, and he rose to the head of the household and was in charge of everything. All right, so now I'll read 9 through 16. We go to Genesis 39, 9 through 16. There is none greater in this house than I. <clears throat> Neither hath he kept back anything from me. But thee, because thou art his wife, how then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? It's very important. And it came to pass as she spake to Joseph day by day that he hearkened not unto her to lie by her or to be with her. And it came to pass about this time that Joseph went into the house to do his business. And there was none of the men of the house there within. And she caught him by his garment saying, lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. And it came to pass when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and was fled forth, that she called unto the men of her house and spake unto them, saying, See, he hath brought in a Hebrew unto us to mock us, And he came in unto me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice. And it came to pass, when he heard that I lifted up my voice and cried, that he left his garment with me and fled and got him out. 
and she laid up his garment by her until his lord came home. Your turn. <laughs> Nine through sixteen. Walang, walang sinumpang dakila kaysa sa akin. Sa bahay na ito, walang anumang bagay ang pinagkait sa akin maliban sa iyo. Sapagkat ikaw ay kanyang asawa. Paano nga magagawa kung ito'y malaking kasama at kasalanan laban sa Diyos? Kahit Nakikiusap siya kay Jose. Araw-araw hindi siya umapayag na siya sumiping o makisama sa kanya. Subalit ang isang araw na Jose pumasok sa bahay upang gawin ang kanyang gawain walang sino mang tao sa bahay. Siya ay pinag pinagil, pinagilan siya ay pinigilan niya sa pamamagitan ng kanyang suot na sinasabi, sipingan mo ako. Subalit, naiwan ni Jose ang kanyang suot sa, ka sa kamay niya at siya ay tumakas papalabas ng bahay. Nung makita niya na naiwan ang kanyang suot sa kamay niya at tumakas sa labas ng bahay, Siya ay tumawag ng mga tao sa kanyang bahay at sinabi sa kanila na tingnan niyo ano ang aking ang aking asawa ay nagdadala sa atin ng isang yem hebro upang tayo iya tayuan yung pinasok niya ang a Aking upang ako'y sipingan at ako'y nagsisigaw ng malakas. Nung marinig niya, ako'y nag, nagtas ng tinig at nagsisigaw. Naiwan niya ang kanyang suot at sa aking tabi at tumakas at lumabas ng bahay. Pagkatapos ay... Pagkatapos ay naninggitan niya ang kasuotan ni Jose. Hanggang sa dumadating ang kanyang amo sa kanyang ba. Alright. So, pretty much here is Joseph is being tempted uh by his master's wife and uh thankfully he's able to flee this temptation again because he is a godly man um again a new testament uh verse that would complement this would be first corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 where it says there hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. So pretty much what that's saying is even though you're a Christian person, even though you're trying to walk with God, temptation is still going to come because we are humans. We are men. We are women. Things of the world are going to tempt us. But God will always give us a way out uh, if you are willing to get out of it. Um, as Joseph here, he says, you know, she is tempting him, but he says he cannot do this wickedness, and he flees. Now, we're going to read on that something bad happens to him, but this bad thing that happens to him is uh, it's going to lead to even more blessings down the line.
but it seems pretty bad at for a minute here. <laughs> and Daisy's being mommy again. Mama. Ooh. <laughs> All right, let me finish this off. 17 to 23 here. And she spake unto him according to these words, saying, The Hebrew servant which thou hast brought unto us came in unto me to mock me. And it came to pass as I lifted up my voice and cried that he left his garment with me and fled out. And it came to pass when his master heard the words of his wife, which she spake unto him, saying, After this manner did thy servant to me, that his wrath was kindled. And Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison on a place where the king's prisoners were bound, and he was there in the prison. But the Lord was with Joseph, as always, and showed him mercy, and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison, and whatsoever they did there, he was the doer of it. The keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand, because the Lord was with him, and that which he did, the Lord made to prosper. Your turn, tiny bubbles. Sinabi niya sa kanya mga salita, ring ito, na sinabi na pinasok ako. At aliping hembro na iyong dinala sa at upang tayuin ako. Nung nagtaas ako ng aking tinig at ako'y nagsisigaw sa kanya, naiwan ang suot niya sa aking tabi at tumakas na papalapit ng um, marinig ang kanyang amo na mga sinabi ng kanyang asawa na sinabi, ganito ang ginawa sa akin ng iyong alipin at ng halab ang kanyang gali. Si Jose ay binilang ko. Kinuha si Jose ng kanyang Panginoon at inilagay sa binangguan sa lugar na pinagpuko Pinagpukulungan ng mga binanggon ng hari. Subalit kasama si Jose ng Panginoon at nagpakita sa kanya ng tapat na pag-ibig at pinagkalooban siya ng biyaya na paningin ng bantay sa bilangguan. Ipinag Ipinamahalagan ang bantay bilangguan sa pamangalaga ni Jose ng lahat ng mga bilanggo na nasa bilanggo at anumang ang ginawa nila sa roon ay siya ang gumawa. Hindi pinaalam ng bantay ang bilangguan ang anumang ang bakay na nasa pamahalaga ni Jose sapagkat ang Panginoon ay kasama niya anuman ang kanyang ginawa at pinagpapaalam sa Panginoon. Alright. So, pretty much what I want to point out here is everybody's going to think, well, this is a bad deal. Joseph did the right thing. She wanted to cheat on her husband with Joseph, and Joseph said no. And he fled, and she lied and got him locked in prison. Well, even though the devil 
is trying to beat Joseph down. Even though he gets locked in prison, he gets blessed. And the person who runs the prison ends up giving Joseph pretty much rule of the place. Um, so all I want is if you're a Christian person out there and you're trying to do what's right for God, the devil is always going to try to knock you down. But whatever happens, it's just a test. A test to see how you're going to react. Um, and I was like, me and Eric always say, you can't have a testimony if you don't have a test. So always try to go through your testimony. Or try to go through your tests with glee. Um, again, we're going to go to the New Testament for this. We're going to go to First Peter chapter 4, and I'm going to read a little bit in here. Uh, and uh, I'm going to start in verse 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery, fiery trial which is to, to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it at first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator and she's back <laughs> but pretty much what that's saying again is when trials come and you're doing things for God rejoice Again, like me and Eric always say, the devil don't bother you if you ain't bothering him. So if you're doing God's work and you're bugging the devil, he's going to come try to bother you. Don't let him bother you. Rejoice in it. Because if the devil's trying to fight you, that means you're doing something right. And that's all I have to say about that. And that is chapter 39, people. Woohoo! 11 more chapters and we're done with Genesis. And then I think we're going to jump to the New Testament and go to the book of John. But first, we got to get through these 11 other chapters. So we've got 11 more weeks of this. <laughs> we'll be done with it. it. Seems like I've been doing it forever. But of course, it's 50 chapters. So that means it takes me 50 weeks to get done with that's almost a year to just get done with one book of the bible <laughs> all right all right daisy is there anything you want to say tiny bubbles
No. She's such a woman of such little words. <laughs> and again, unless you talked to her on the phone, then she goes, what a little, little, little. <laughs> especially if she's excited about something. <laughs> And on that note, I think we'll call it a day. Never forget, Genesis 9-3. Peace.